All right, our first uh, stretch for our shoulders, we're gonna do in prone position, like face down on our mat. So I'm gonna show you the three arm positions we're gonna take. This is gonna be first position. Second position is cactus arms, and then W is third position. So when we do that, let me show you on my self here. We're lying on our bellies, taking hands overhead, and just lifting those hands up into as high as rotation. So notice like my fingers wanna lift. We're gonna try and keep our wrists straight when we lift here so that those fingers don't help us compensate. We're just lifting. Kind of peek up like, okay, my wrists are straight <laughs> and come on down. So we're gonna do 15 of those in each position. So come on down to your bellies. And also while you're, like you can see my shoulders like to lift here, a lot of ours do. Just trying to push those shoulder fronts down towards the mat. Bring fingers closer to together. So you're kind of in this diamond shape with your hands. And let's just breathe. Those inhales are gonna bring hands up. And that exhale is going to lower those hands down. So option, you can just do four counts here. It doesn't have to be tied to that four, eight count. Just take those inhales and exhales. As you lift hands up, rotate, you can feel that in your shoulders. Remember to keep wrists straight. That's the number one thing I want you thinking about is not how high you're getting, but get those wrists to stay straight. And lower. Noticing if you want to hold your breath or kind of clench your glutes even. <laughs> Start just moving through those elbows, lifting up. I'm at 10 here. About five more to go in this position. All right, let's slide those arms down to cactus position. So elbows go straight out from shoulders, palms face down. And again, elbows are staying on the mat. You're only picking up those hands. Notice like how hard that's gonna be. Wrists are definitely gonna wanna bend in this one. So it, again, it's not how far you get, it's your form that's important in this one. So as you lift that first time peak, like, oh wow, my wrists really wanna join the fun. <laughs> But nice small movement as those elbows stay grounded. Remember, try to find a way to ease tension in the rest of your body here when you're moving. Keep that breath going. All right, I just got one more to go here. And then slide elbows down by side so your arms are in more of a W shape. So palms are gonna face down again. Just slide elbows down, yep. foreheads down. Be like, oh my gosh, my hands don't even really wanna lift here. <laughs> so it really engage, push the front of your shoulder blades down or shoulder points down and lift. It's like this, but like, why can't my body do this? <laughs> You'll find that like, as you start to do them, getting a little range of motion. Think about pushing those elbows down.
And release that tension from the rest of your body. Leave elbows down on the mat and only lifting those palms and forearms. Yeah, I have two more to go here. And then we're gonna push back into child's pose. Bring those hands out overhead so that st shoulders stretch out. And after you take a few breaths in child's pose, I want you to come up into tabletop and we're gonna take a couple cat cow rotations. And they're just a great way to stretch out what we're working here. All right, the next thing we're doing, we're coming back down to our bellies. Um, online, if you have a hand weight, like two pounds or a can of soup, why don't you grab that super quick? This doesn't have to be weighted and some of it, it might be too much if we add weight. Um, we're doing this arm circle with an extension. So let me, let me see if I can show it sideways here from seated so online can see what I'm doing. I'm gonna bring, like I have this weight and bring that hand, I'm gonna be lying on my belly so that arm is gonna lift behind me and I'm gonna try and look for that range of motion. And then we're gonna bring that weight all the way up by our side and push it overhead and around. Come through. So does that make sense online? I hope so. We'll come down to belly. And you can start with that weight. And if it's just like way too much, feel free to dump that weight. It's gonna be totally fine. Bring right arm underneath forehead. And then bring that weight along the side. Lift it up as high as it can go. And as you do that, think about that shoulder point. So our tendency is to go here, but we're going to try and get the front of our shoulder here to stay as close to the mat as possible. And then that fist is going to come through close to your body, fly out overhead, and then up and around. And we're doing 15 of these. So if you're like, oh my God, no, put the weight down. It's going to be fine to do without the weight or do some with the weight and drop that weight. Try to keep that hand up off the ground the entire time, even when it slides through. Checking in with that breath. How about low back and glutes? Are they starting to help out, try to relax? All right, let's switch sides. Other forearm, and that weight. Lift it up as far behind you. Push that shoulder point down towards the mat. And bring it up alongside and forward.
All right, once you're done here, place that weight down, push back into child's pose. Let's keep child's pose active. So push palms into mat, lift elbows and forearms. Come on up to tabletop. Take a couple cat cow rotations. Inhale, drop belly, gaze up. Exhale, round spine. One more, just like that. Maybe you do that four count, eight count here. All right, coming to seated spot on our mat. And do these reverse tabletops. Again, fingers are going to point behind us, and my hands are about a foot behind me. Bring feet close, and we're going to do 15 lifts and do that four, eight count breath if you'd like, but just one breath cycle, and you're going to lift hips up. Lower nice and slow down. And squeeze shoulder blades together. My feet are about shoulder width apart. You need to, you can walk hands closer to you to feel that more in some forearm stretch, front of your elbows. Each time you come down, try to relax that stress away and then re-engage. All right, for these last five, option to take feet straight here. Point those toes and lift hips up into plank rather than tabletop. All right, when you lower, straighten those legs, whew, shake out those arms, lots of work in those. Stretch those arms, reach for your toes. Use that toe stretch or whether you have to grab ankles or whatever, use it to help also kind of pull those arms. Like since I can get my toes, I'm gonna push toes and really try to get those arms muscles straightening, lengthening, but get that grip going so that arm muscles are pulling. All right, shake out again. All right, now you can come to seated or kneeling, whichever is gonna be more comfortable for you because we have just one more shoulder set to do. We're gonna bring hands straight out in front of us about 45 degrees and make fists. Then we're gonna punch out, keep that extension out and lift shoulders. So keep punching forward, reaching as far forward as possible here. Shoulder shrugs with that arm extended. Again, about 45 degrees. You can might maybe even go wider rather than fists out straight in front of you. So like every muscle in your arm is trying to reach that fist, punching it forward. Last one here. 
Now we're gonna shove those shoulders back in your sockets. Elbows are straight, keep arms about 45 degrees. So now scapulas are kind of coming together behind you. Shrug here and think about those scapulas along your spine, reaching and kind of squeezing your spine. Make sure you're breathing here, inhaling, shrugging, exhaling, relaxing. And actually there's not really a moment of true relaxation here. It's all kind of engaged up and down. All right, last one up and down. Let's shake those arms out again. All right, one more movement on our backs just to kind of stretch those out a little. We're going to come onto our backs and start with that W position and move through that cactus and then up to position one and just sliding, keeping shoulders, biceps, forearms, everything on the ground as you move. So coming to your back. Um, start down in that W position, trying to get that full arm on the mat. Notice if that chest is puffing up, try to get low back and rib cage onto the ground. Then just moving fingers to touch overhead, sliding them down. So if it feels good for you, think about contracting those scapulas towards each other again and keeping that contraction the whole time as those arms slide. Just one more of those. Then take yourself into a full body stretch. Pull knees into chest, rock right to left. All right, come back up to tabletop. I'm gonna take knees mat width apart. Hips are gonna stay over knees, then we're gonna do thread the needle with wide knees. So inhale, take that right hand up overhead and just move really slow here. You probably feel this stretch where you can push left palm into the mat and reach higher. Get this opening stretch. And then on the exhale, you're gonna reach through to that left side, right ear comes down to the mat. And notice if hips like wanna shove over to the left side, see if you can evenly weight and distribute into those knees. And then with that left hand that's on the mat, it can stay underneath your shoulder for support. You can reach it out overhead. You can take a bind. And whatever feels good to do with that supporting hand. Slow down your breath a little, practice that four, eight count. I'm gonna bring that left hand back underneath shoulder and unthread that needle, reach up. Feel free to take that right arm and rainbow it forward and back, kind of any motion that feels good. Just stretch through that body. Come back into tabletop. Let's take that to the opposite side. Right hand grounds down, left hand reaches. 
And just finding this moment of stretch here. And use an exhale to thread the needle towards that right side. Again, check in with your hips if they want to go off kilter a little bit. Evenly distribute that weight. Slide hips closer to the left side, maybe. And right hand can just take whatever variation you took on the other side if it feels good. Bring that right hand back. Let's inhale, reach up high. And left arm can make a few circles or rainbows. Come back into tabletop. Let's tuck toes. We'll bring those knees underneath you and then tuck toes, lift hips up into down dog. Head lean out your feet here. 